What's up guys? So printing a lot means I have a lot of waste that I'm not throwing out or at least trying to. And I'm trying to figure out what I can do with it to repurpose it into something that I can either sell or use or whatnot. So I have an idea. There's been a lot of different people using the silicone skulls and then melting down all their plastic. I've tried that. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's on my channel. It takes over an hour because you have to keep feeding it more plastic, more plastic about every 15 minutes. It comes out pretty cool and it's heavy, but I think there's something a little bit more efficient that I could do that doesn't require me to constantly be feeding it. Okay, and just to give you an example, here is one box that's probably a few weeks or about, yeah, a couple of weeks worth of uh, prints and whatnot that are all multicolor. So as you can see, I have about two, two boxes of this stuff and it's just constant poop, a lot of different colors, which would look cool if there is some different way that I could use all of this stuff. So as you can see, I, I took one of my silicone mold skulls and I filled it up completely with plastic. I'm trying to use as many different colors as I can. And you can kind of see that there's a little bit, you know, a variation of different colors in here. So this mold is about three or four inches deep. And I recently picked up some deep pour epoxy. So this stuff you can use for up to three to four inches deep. And uh, it's a two to one ratio. So you use double of this compared to this. Uh, I need to go to the store and buy mixing cups, so I will have to go do that. But the idea is that I will go ahead and fill up this entire skull with clear epoxy and actually make a clear skull with all these like squiggly multicolor pieces that I think will look a way better in my in my experience. I think uh, or my idea. I think it'll look way better uh, just because that way I won't have to constantly feed it and I can kind of control the colors that it does. I think there's also some cool things with epoxy, like, you know, I could potentially add like lights or things and whatnot. So, and I've kind of been dabbling into epoxy. I've created some molds that I haven't really documented, you know, with silicone, with liquid plastic. Thanks again, David, if you're watching this for all that care package stuff, um, I'm still working on it. And I think there's more that I could definitely make a mold of and do. But uh, for this video, I wanted to go through and see, you know, kind of pour this with you guys, it's gonna take about uh, 48 to 72 hours to fully cure because it's so thick. So, you know, short term is basically fill the mold or get the mold, you know, fill it with um, leftover poop, you know, mix all the stuff that needs to be mixed, like the epoxy, and then pour it once and then wait. So I actually grabbed uh, off of Amazon another uh, silicone mold skull. So I'm probably gonna do two at once since it takes so long and um, this should be like bubble free and whatnot, but there's ways that you can get rid of it by using like a lighter and things like that. And with Halloween coming up, I think this is going to be a pretty cool addition for some unique stuff that you can't just go to Walmart, Home Goods, and whatnot and just buy. So let me go buy some cups and we'll get to mixing. All right, so never mind. I just did some Googling and Walmart doesn't have real like, um, you know, small measuring cups. I do have some of these on hand, which I used for liquid plastic. I could probably wash them out real quick and use it since I do have something that's coming up at 1 p.m. So I don't have the most time to run out to the store and hunt. Um, so let me go ahead, mix this stuff up. I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot of it because as you can see, most of the volume is already taken by all of the plastic. So I think it's going to just be mixing up a good bunch of it. And hopefully I'm getting, you know, like the amounts close to what I'm going to need. And then literally just waiting for the epoxy to cure, which again is going to take two to three days, um, which is quite long. So building up an inventory for this might take a while. Um, but I think if I start now, Halloween is still a little bit away. And, you know, we might have some like obscurity shows, Halloween shows, you know, and there's a whole bunch more things like that. And I think people are more into dark stuff than you would think too. So I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see how it goes. So let's get to mixing. All right, so I went through, got put gloves on because this stuff never seems to dry. I got my cup B that I marked. Um, I am using a cup, uh, reusing a cup, so hopefully it's good enough. And I also got A here, which is the two to one. Um, so let's go ahead and whoop, get to pouring. So first we need the deep pour. Uh, what I was thinking for the first one, so on the cups here, we have, uh, these are 100 milliliter cups. 
So we have, you know, from uh, 20 all the way up to 100. So for the first one, I was thinking of doing uh, 80 for part A. And then, um, and then for B, I would do uh, 40. You know, since this mold is pretty substantial, I might have to mix it twice. So I figured, uh, start out with this. And then what I was thinking too is I'm not going to use the other, um, oh yes, I also need a cup. So again, just like running low on supplies, I only have a cup here that I'm gonna reuse. I just had liquid plastic in it, so I think it's fine. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, if not, I guess we'll find out. So um, yes, let's go ahead and crack our deep pour open. Okay. Okay. And I should probably use a little stir stick. And we got our A going in. Let's clear it out here is to thoroughly mix in one direction for 5 to 15 minutes and then uh, let it actually stand for 5 minutes. So let me go and get to mixing. Alright, so it's all mixed up and you can actually start to see some of the bubbles popping here. So we'll give it a couple more minutes, uh, four more minutes, and go ahead and start pouring. All right, guys, and here we go. As you can see, I finally got to the very, very top. Tried to make it as flat as possible. I did have to take a little bit out, um, and I had to do three mixes, I think. I'm going to have to get some bigger mixing cups. First one, or first two I did was up to the 80 on the cup. And then the last one was up to um, like 80 and then 40. And then the last one was 40 and then 20. So, but yeah, as you can see, I got the full thing fully encased. It already looks really cool. I'm super excited for it to go through. I'm wondering what this is gonna turn out like if I kind of clump them together, if it's just gonna be a weird ball. Um, but yeah, ultimately I'm excited to see. So now we gotta wait 24 hours. So the morning, next morning check the mold and it does feel a little hard um it says 24 hours is to cure so it's right now it's eight o'clock in the morning so we got about six hours until 2 p.m when i actually did it yesterday so i'll give it till then but there's no bubbles or nothing and i think it's going to look super cool once it's actually all set but i'll check back in with you when we're ready to start demolding all right and here's the mold after 24 hours it is hard and ready to be demolded. And I think it already looks super cool on the bottom. So let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh my goodness. That looks so cool. <laughs> that looks sick. That looks so cool. I didn't know if that was a lot to talk. It looks so cool.
So here we have it guys, the Crystal Skull, I'll call it, is all done. I think it came out super well. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these two at once. I know I said I was going to in this video, but I didn't, uh, just cause I didn't wanna waste a whole bunch of product if it didn't come out too well or whatnot. Um, I've also thought about potentially buying some pigment off of Amazon, like glow in the dark or different colors. Maybe I could do like the teeth or whatnot. I've seen where you can paint like the mold on the inside and then lay the um, pigment. So let me know what you guys think down in the below for the Crystal Skull. I'm going to be making more of these. I will make these available on my website, comiscacustoms.com. So if you're looking for something unique like this with a bunch of recycled uh, poop that I went through and printed with and would like to support me and my small business and my wife, uh, go ahead, check us out and buy it online now. So, and again, these are completely unique. Um, if you guys are looking for certain colors or whatnot in here, let me know. I might have it. I do have a lot of, um, you know, uh, poop I got to get rid of. <laughs> so, but I'm going to be making different ones with different colors. So you can see I used white, black, pink, green, all that. But, you know, I got different ones all over. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you're not already subscribed or following, make sure you do that. Uh, we're always coming out with new stuff like this. Uh, like I was saying before, I'm playing around with some molding stuff. So I'm trying to get some liquid plastic stuff to work for different designs and things. And um, I do have an update on the Ender 3 NG too. If you watch that, it was a 3D printer that I 3D printed and um, it's been going super well. I finally got some of the little things all knitted down and there's a couple more things that I wanna go through and reprint and um, install back onto the printer. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video of the Crystal Skull um, and I still have to let it fully cure, but yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.